Hey guys, it's Sherry Vegas and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to show you how to do a double layered resin art tutorial. I'm starting out by sanding my old board back. So if you watch my channel you'll know that I have did this board previously and it got knocked over when it was drying so all the resin rippled and it became really textured. So how I'm going to fix this is I'm using my sander and I'm just going over and sanding back to get an even surface of where my old resin has um, sort of rippled and become uneven in texture. I've just sped up the sanding part because let's face it, it's not that interesting. This is just a cheap $20 sander from Bunnings, um, just depending on what you have. I just found this was perfect for the job and I've tried to get it down to even as much as possible. Now if you wanted to keep the original artwork, you can just put a clear coat back on top of the resin and that will go into all the little cracks and you won't even notice that um, you've had to sand it back. But I decided that I wanted to do something new, might as well um, have a bit of fun. So I have been putting a top coat of a black resin. So once I got the black resin down, I just went over it before it dried with my blowtorch to pop all the bubbles because you can really see the bubbles in the black resin. Now I'm just mixing up equal parts of my Solid Solutions resin that I like to buy and I buy that online from solidsolutions.com.au. So I'm mixing that up. Um, you've got to mix the resin really thoroughly. If you don't mix resin thoroughly, you might get like a part where it hasn't mixed in with the hardener and then it won't set properly and you don't want that. So just make sure you really mix up your resin. With a little bit of my clear resin, I'm just pouring that over my board before I add my white. The reason why I'm using a white and a clear is if you use them together and pour them at the same time, they sort of layer over each other and you can create a really cool smoke effect. With my fingertips, I'm just mixing in the white and clear resin. This is how you start to get that smoke effect that I was talking about. And it's also quite fun, so just do it really gently and really cautiously. You don't want to over mix it. I also want to mention that the bottom layer of black resin, I let dry for 24 hours until it was okay to touch before I've applied my second coat of resin.
I've just mixed in a powder pigment into my resin. It's called Fire Opal and it's a coppery red colour. And I'm now going to apply that in selected areas to add a bit more interest into my artwork. Now I'm using my last colour, which is a plum colour. I bought this pigment paste from Artie Foods. I really like them. I've tried out a few of her tints and pigment pastes. Highly recommend them. She's also uh, Australian based. And I got really amazing cells from this pigment paste at the very end of the artwork when it started to dry. I decided to leave some negative space in this artwork, so now I'm just applying my clear resin on the areas that I won't be putting any of my smoke effect. I feel like this just makes it more interesting as one part's all smoky and then I've got my negative space and kind of gives a really nice balance to this artwork.
final step, I'm just using my blowtorch to go back over my artwork just to pop any little bubbles because I definitely don't want to have this dry with any little resin bubbles in it. So this is a must for all resin artists. You can use a heat gun if you want to. I just find a blowtorch is much more effective. really happy with how my resin artwork turned out and as you can see I got some amazing cells and they got even bigger when the canvas fully dried. If you liked my resin art tutorial give it a big thumbs up and if you're new make sure you subscribe.